Oh my goodness! Ooh, that was kind of loud. Hey friends, Mikester here, your humble servant, with a weekly update from First United Methodist Church of Fort Worth. And yes, I was enjoying myself some fine classical music. And I know that you enjoy it as well. And so with us now are our very special choral music correspondents, Robert Stovall, our director of music, and Peggy Graff, our associate director of music. Let's go to them now. Thank you, Mike, for that wonderful introduction. And may I add, please do not quit your day job because your conducting lacks just a little bit. Hello everyone, we are excited this year with our Gift of Music concert series. And I thought I would just mention a few highlights that we have throughout the year in hopes that uh, you will enjoy these opportunities, these concerts, these recitals. Hopefully you'll attend all of them. We have something every month. And in some months we have several things. We have organ recitals. We have the Spectrum concert series that we've always had here. We have choirs that'll be singing uh, throughout the year. And of course, we have our own Choral Union and Otto Ramos performing throughout the year. Some of the co college choirs that we'll have in concert are that of Oklahoma State University, and we have Abilene Christian University, we have North Texas, University of North Texas, and then we have the University of Texas at Arlington. Each one of those are separate concerts. And with that, come high school choirs to perform along with them. There's one in October, and there's one in November, and there's one in February, and there's one in March. We also have a professional chorus, the Ken Davis Chorale, that'll be performing here in January. And our ecumenical men's choir that we started three years ago will perform in February. Along with them would be the University of North Texas Men's Choir as well. So you see there's something for everyone. I know you're going to enjoy these concerts. Be on the watch for the times and the dates of each of these. We do have one coming up though in September. September the 10th, Otto Ramos, our chamber choir, will be involved in an even song. Our wonderful organist and our assistant choral music here at the church Peggy Graff has helped me put this together. And so I've got Peggy with me now, so she might add to this concert on September the 10th at 7 p.m. Peggy, let's talk about Evensong. All right. Why don't you tell the folks exactly what Evensong is? Well, Evensong is a service of worship, and it just happens to be around six to seven o'clock in the evening. It's one of the uh, offices of prayer that that uh, occurs throughout the day um, and even song in this case is chorally driven um, it's a peace inducing service that just has some very high standard music set to it uh, there are praises and responses which there is a cantor and the choir responds uh, there is a Magnificat and a Nuc Dimittis, which Otto Ramos is going to be singing mm -hmm. by Herbert Howells. And um, the, the origins of even song can be found even when Jesus was alive. Right. And um, it, it, it later evolved into Christian scripture and poetry and doctrine. And it's just a beautiful peace inducing service that only lasts about 45 minutes. Um, this year I am the um, Fort Worth Chapter AGO Subdean, and it's my duty um, as Subdean to offer programs and events for, the, for our chapter. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is one of them that we are actually um, in charge of this year. So uh, we wanted to include this wonderful music ministry that we have at our church and, and uh, also have our beautiful organ represented and um, I've invited Father uh, Raymond McDaniel. He's the pastor at St. Philip the Apostle Catholic Church in, in Louisville and his organist, um, Andrew Kenny, to, to serve during that mm -hmm. particular evening song. And so with the two of them, with Otto Ramos and you directing them and hopefully a lot of people in attendance, we're all gonna really 
be coming together to enjoy this evening of um, choral music and yes. scripture and just that's great everything folks i hope you have the opportunity to attend this on september the 10th at 7 p.m in our sanctuary it's going to be a beautiful service and as peggy said we have wonderful music throughout the service so please make your plans to attend we're looking forward to the concert series this year and we hope you are as well so now we'll go back to mike Robert, Peggy, thank you so much. It's exciting to know the things that are coming up in the concert series this year. It's also really good to specifically know about Evensong. I know that I'm looking forward to that, to being there, and I hope to see you there as well. And here's the other thing. A couple years ago, my wife uh, challenged me, invited me to sing with Choral Union. And it's been one of the neatest things that I've ever done. I am not a musician by nature, but I can tell you that every Wednesday evening, I enjoy so much the chance to learn from Robert and Peggy, the chance to be with 30 or 40 or 50 other people here in our church that are having fun together, laughing together, learning music, and all of us together praising God. It's one of the neat small groups in our church, and perhaps it's a group that you'd like to be a part of. And so I wanna encourage you, whenever you wish, talk to Robert Stovall, talk to Peggy Graff, or even let me know and I'll pass it along to them. It really is a good time. Well, hopefully, in the midst of your Labor Day weekend, you are having a good time that involves relaxation, involves family and friends, and I also hope that you're able to take the time to recognize the fact that, that you and all of us have been given vocations by God. And my prayer for you is that our labors together will be fun, will be fruitful, and they will always be reminders that God blesses us to be blessings for others. Well, friends, I think that's all for today. And yes, this has been your moment with Mike.